Now to a News for Jack's I-Team investigation involving contractors who don't finish the work when they promised. A local small business owner reached out to us for help after she says her contractor agreed to finish the construction within four months, but now more than a year later, it is still not done. This is where my patients are going to be served and my, my coffee products right here. Victoria Bradford had big plans for this space. She wanted to convert it into a coffee shop and bookstore. Okay, so the contract was for um, the job to be done in four months. She signed that contract in December 2021 with an agreement James Frazier Construction would finish the work within four months, which was April of 2022. Look at this. It's been a year and a half. And this is how it looks. 16 so months later, this is all she has to show for it and says she feels like she has been getting nothing but the runaround from the general contractor. When April 22 rolled around, I got hit with a lot of excuses from him as to why the job couldn't couldn't be completed. Um, you know, COVID, turnover, um, just some staffing issues, um, just kind of things like, you know, when I was understanding, you know, at first, because, okay, um, but then it kind of drug on all throughout the year. Bradford says on top of the $6,500 deposit she gave the contractor, now she has had to start paying rent for the storefront off Main Street near downtown Jacksonville. I literally can't afford to continue to pay rent on a space that's not open. It's been a year and a half. Now, all she wants is her deposit return so she can find someone else to finish the store. Hi, this is Jennifer Wall with Channel 4 News. Is this Scott Frazier? The News for Jack's I team contacted the contractor. Scott Frazier told me over the phone that he was sorry for the delays and felt badly the project is not done and that he would return Bradford's $6,500 deposit within the next week after speaking to his attorney. That day came and went with no deposit returned. Then he sent the I team and Bradford this email listing the expenses and receipts he incurred for the work he had completed, totaling more than $6,270, and was now only intending to reimburse Bradford about $229. As for the reason for the delay, he writes the contract clearly states the construction time of four months excludes the time that permitting may take. He says the design and permitting phase took longer than he expected. Victoria says she feels the contractor misled her for months, costing her thousands of dollars she doesn't have to spend. I've still been loading up on inventory as far as books, coffee products, all those things and they're all stored at my house, you know, so I've still been buying, 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 buying because I don't want to wait till the last second and now I'm scrambling to get all the things I need to open. So the News for Jack's I team receives complaints like Bradford's a lot about contractors not finishing the work when they promise. So to avoid the same heartbreak and the hassle, here's some things that you really need to know. First, you want to be sure that you read every single word of the contract before you sign it. Ask about permitting time. Is that language included in the contract? And what about design plans? Who is responsible for those? Is it the owner or is it the contractor? And how long will that take so that you have all the information? You should know Florida law also states that a contractor who receives an initial payment, a deposit, totaling more than 10% of the price for the entire job must apply for permits to do work within 30 days of being paid that initial money. And in most cases, must start the work within 90 days after those permits are issued. If the contractor does not do either of those things, the state then requires the contractor be notified in writing via certified mail, demanding that they apply for the permits, start the work, or refund the payment. Now, if you feel like a contractor has violated your contract, you should file a complaint with the Department of Business and Professional Regulation. See, it issues licenses to contractors so it can suspend their license if they violate state statute. Now, you can check to see if a contractor is licensed, which you should always do, and also file a complaint by going to myfloridalicense.com. Now, in the meantime, Bradford, who is a teacher, she tells me she is in desperate need of a contractor who can help her finish the store so that she can fulfill her dream of offering a comfortable place for adults and children to read and enjoy a warm beverage and food.